It's a beautiful morning and we live in a beautiful country. That's why, along with 2,000 other people, bullers are shouting ferries all day from Queen's Wharf to Rangitoto to help clean our coasts and keep New Zealand beautiful. Go get in a jeep, go get in a sleep. What a cool idea to spark up a human chain. So I was straight in there, then everybody else started to pitch in too. It was good times. So with all the water on board, we loaded up from Auckland's Queen's Wharf on the ferry to Rangitoto. Be a tidy Kiwi! Shocking to see what pollution does to coasts here in New Zealand and around the globe. Every day rubbish flows into the Waitemata Harbour through stormwater drains. This means that Rangitoto is directly in the line of fire from something as simple as a cigarette butt or a water bottle dropped into any gutter of Auckland City. Obviously there needs to be put a stop to this. So I signed up to help the Love Your Coast crew. We knew the mission was to clean Rangitoto's coastline, but pulling into the wharf we didn't really know what else to expect. So just come over and sign on. We're looking for extra team leaders as well. So anyone who wants to put their hand up, come over and sign on. We need 10 more. So I've just volunteered to be a team captain. That means I can get one of these vests. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found a pretty choice sticker in the team bag, as well as some gloves to hand out to everybody, and a whistle. So we got the team equipment. I found my new team. All we needed now was a team name. Name of our team? Tiny Kiwi. So we are Tiny Kiwi, yeah? So I'm three can I get a Tiny Kiwi? Tiny Kiwis! One, two, three. Tiny Kiwis! Awesome stuff. The Tiny Kiwis. Students and teachers from Northcote College, Lulu, Cass, Julia, Megan, Sam, and myself. And we started to make our way around the coast. Another cool thing that me and your teachers are going to look out for is a player of the day. Whoever has the best attitude of picking up rubbish, or picks up the most rubbish, or a combination of both, and is just all around awesome to everybody, then they get to be the player of the day and stick, stick around the cone like that. Yeah! Woo! So we're here at our spot. We've walked about 45 minutes around the coast with Rangi Toto. We've handed out the bags, we've handed out the gloves, got a little prize for whoever's got the best attitude and or picks up the most rubbish. They're going to be the player of the day and it just gets the kids motivated, you know, to have a bit of fun with it and to try really hard to pick up as much rubbish as they can. So, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> that day we saw first hand the repercussions of human littering to wildlife. Pete the Penguin, I reckon yeah. we should call him Pete the Penguin. Okay, we're going to put Pete the Penguin up in there underneath this nice tree so you can buy the great like nature intended it to be. And you are just like a sign of why why we're here today because animals die. You know, animals die when humans litter. I, I agree with this. That's so. We then formed a group huddle and had a moment of silence for Pete the Penguin. And then I wanted to know the most interesting thing that everybody found. So we went around the circle and found out. The tidy kiwis were awesome that day. So that's why when it came round to naming the player of the day, I just couldn't single out one person. Plus it's all about working together as a team. And the team effort was a success. And at the end of the day, that's what really matters. So it's been a great day. We've made heaps of friends and we've picked up heaps of rubbish. Got myself a whistle, mean little memorabilia, some chocolate, or on the way home. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. That's what Julia found. Yeah. And most of all, I think that I've made a difference in quite a few kids' lives. A tidy kiwi is the way to be. And yeah, it's really inspirational when a lot of them got out of their way to do so to pick up rubbish. So yeah, Steve-O signing out.